So like we worked on columns in our last video, let's do something similar with our rows here. Okay, let's go to the worksheet and we can see that we have row number 3 and then row number 5 and row number 10 here which are absolutely blank which means even if we get rid of them it won't make any difference to our database so to delete the, uh, that row click anywhere within the row any cell and then we go here delete drop down and now we select this option delete sheet rows okay so when I click here, we can see that that blank row is gone. Another way to delete a row is obviously coming on the row number and right click. Okay, when we right click, the whole row gets selected and we get an option of delete. Okay, so we will click here and in similar fashion, we will go here in row number 8. I'll right click and then I'll click on delete. So this deletes our extra rows and now the database is good, but uh, it looks a bit congested with no you know uh, the numbers and the headings and all sticking to each other so right now what we'll work on is you know expanding row heights a little bit so that the uh, database looks a bit good okay so for that what we will do is uh, let's come here okay uh, like we did for column between 1 and 2 when I getting my mouse here we can see that the mouse pointer is turning into an icon which is double sided arrow top and bottom now we can click Without leaving the mouse, drag the mouse obviously to the height that we want. Okay, I am taking it like here 50 pixels and I am leaving it. Okay, so this is the height I selected for row number one. But still, my heading and the text below doesn't have a space because this content here is aligning to the bottom of the cell. Okay. So to change that, what we will need to do is select entire row. So how do we select entire row? Just come here and click on number one. The first row gets selected, the entire row gets selected. And here in the alignment group, we have an option to vertically align the data. We have three options obviously, one is top, next is middle and then bottom. You can see that the bottom alignment is selected, which is why the content here is aligning to the bottom of the cell. What we need to do is we click on this top align and the entire content now is aligning to the top. Let me click outside somewhere here. Yeah. So we can see that now we have some gap between our text. Okay. Similar thing we will do for this date uh, row. Let me uh, click here and drag to increase the row height a bit. I'll take to 40. And again the similar thing is happening okay there is no gap in between my date and this location headers here just because this content is also bottom aligned so again i'll select the entire row or else let me select just one cell because there's nothing in other cells so i'll let me select this only one cell i'll select it and come here and click on top align okay the text is top align and i think if we make it left align as well then it will look better yeah Similar thing for row headers, okay, so let me increase the row, to increase the row height, what we can, another method what we can try is to give specific measurements, so for example, if I right click this row number 3, I get an option of row height, okay, I'm, I'm uh, coming here, I can see that the row height currently specified is 15, okay, and we can obviously increase this, let me increase this to 35 and click OK, okay, so the row height is done and again uh, the headers are you know touching the bottom of the cell let me select the entire row by clicking on this row 3 and instead of top we can use uh, i think middle align here that will look a bit good better yeah so this is uh, middle align here our cities are good uh, i think we will be able to do the same things with the totals here so let me separate my cities with my total rows Okay, like this and for the daily figures let us select and make them top line as well okay so now with the spacing and all our database looks a bit better 